All right, let's say you live in a condo, apartment complex, or some kind of home cluster that requires key access through a locked gate or door. You're inside and a stranger is at the door on the other side, waving at you, signaling you to open the door for them. Do you let them in? I freaking hate being in this situation. Every time I walk into my condo building and there's someone already in the vestibule trying to figure out how the buzzer works, probably for my prostitute neighbor, they see me come in and look at me like I'm their savior, expecting me to open the door for them. I guess I don't have much of a choice. I gotta get inside and I can't just open the door for myself and immediately close it behind me like, no, not you, only me. Well, technically there is a back entrance I could use, but that's on the opposite side of the building, and that feels like too much trouble just to avoid this situation. Or when I'm waiting for a pizza delivery in the lobby and an outsider pleads me to open the door as if they're escaping the plague outside. If I ignore them, I feel like an asshole. But if I open the door for them, I feel like I defeated the purpose of the security door. Well, I just let in a serial killer. I sure hope everyone locked their doors and aren't depending on these doors as their only line of defense. <laughs> Thanks, loser. I'll kill you last. I just recently came back from a trip to California for VidCon and Anime Expo. I had a blast seeing old friends and meeting new ones. Even though I only got to see a lot of you briefly, do know that I enjoyed whatever time we had. Except for when we were outside. Like, what is this, California? You're broken. Go home. Every year for Anime Expo, I rent out an Airbnb with some friends for the duration of the convention, and this year, we got ourselves this nice apartment suite in a gated complex. Unfortunately, at some point in the night, we ran out of toilet paper, and the Airbnb didn't have any extra rolls anywhere. It was like 3am and our drivers were too tired to go out and get some, and we didn't exactly feel safe walking out in the unknown neighborhood. Luckily, our friend L pointed out that there was a public bathroom on the first floor of the complex across from the gym. Nice. So Claire and I decided to head down for some toiletry shopping. L didn't really give us specific directions, so we had a little bit of trouble looking for the bathroom. During our search, we passed by the front gate, and a guy, probably in his early 20s, jogs up to the door in a slight panic. Hey! Oh, thank goodness! Hi, could you guys let me in? I was having a party up at the rooftop with my friends, and I think I left my wallet by the jacuzzi. I, I just want to check if it's there. Literally, the situation I hate. Claire and I looked at each other in hesitation. I... I don't think we can. Sorry, man. We're just visitors here. Please, could you just help me out? I, I checked my car. It's not there. I'm, I'm pretty sure I left it upstairs. Look, I don't know this guy, I don't know this neighborhood, I am not a bouncer. It was 3am and neither Claire nor I would have the reflex to defend ourselves from this sketchy dude if he was dangerous. He ain't got no biscuit, I ain't risking it. But, but he did know about the rooftop patio area with the jacuzzi, so he wasn't totally making it up. It was too late to pull out my fake Chinese and Claire's real Chinese to pretend we couldn't understand and use that as an excuse to leave. It was late, I was tired, there was a rumbly in my tummy, and I just wanted to get some toilet paper. Thanks. And on a side note, we held a little barbecue get-together with some friends the previous night, and then I got contacted the next day by the host, saying there were reports of our party members damaging property and vomiting over the balcony the previous night, and while I believed, to the extent of my knowledge, that they were false accusations, I didn't want to dig a deeper hole for me and my group by letting in a stranger to a private complex. The door is locked for a reason. Sorry, man. We can't. <sighs> Come on. And we headed back upstairs, with an extreme lack of toilet paper. Do you think sketchbook paper would hurt? We couldn't find it. Also, there's a dude downstairs saying he forgot his wallet by the jacuzzi or something. We told L what happened, and he decided to escort us to the secret bathroom himself. But first, we headed to the rooftop patio to check for this wallet. We looked around the jacuzzi area. Nothing. We checked the rest of the patio area, and on one of the tables there was a pair of shoes, and inside one of them, a wallet. Huh, I guess he was telling the truth. Wait, check for an ID, then we'll ask him for his name, assuming he's still down there. Felipe Gonzalez. We left the wallet where it was, and headed back down. He was still there. Hey. Please, I really need my wallet. Alright, so we did see one up there, but I don't think we can let you in still. Any chance your friend can get it for you? No, they're asleep now. We drank a lot. 
I tried calling them, but they're already passed out. Hold on. What's your name, by the way? Uh, Chris. Who the fu- That's definitely not how you pronounce Felipe. Oh, yeah, th that's my other friend. He, he was with us, too. Uh... Please just let me in. I can go check for myself. Eh, call us overly cautious, but he just progressively became more suspicious. He said he left the wallet by the jacuzzi. The only wallet we found was neither by the jacuzzi nor belonged to a Chris. He told us his friends were in room 208. So we went up and tried knocking on their door. And no one answered. I guess if they were blackout drunk, that made sense. But then again, it was 3.30 at this point, and most people would be unconscious anyway. We even went back to go check the rooftop patio again for a more thorough search, but still nothing. He had an excuse, but we weren't really in a position to be good Samaritans. Well, actually, I guess to be a good Samaritan means you help no matter the situation. Okay, maybe we were just normal Samaritans. Normal people, I don't know, whatever. I just wanted to wipe my ass, okay? We were in unfamiliar territory. L even mentioned later that he noticed gang markings on nearby walls and stop signs around the complex. For all we know, this guy could have been the one who threw up over the balcony the other night. We got the toilet paper, but we didn't let him in. I'm sorry, Chris. I'm not calling you a gangster, necessarily, but you had an unlucky night. He did, however, have his car and phone. If he did drink with his buddies, it was probably best that he didn't drive that night anyway. I don't know, call an Uber, pick up your wallet in the morning. I don't know if we made the right decision, but I felt it was the safe decision. Plus, what if he also knew about the secret bathroom and wanted to take the toilet paper for himself, huh? Nuh-uh, dude. Natural selection. This video has been brought to you by Audible, the largest selection of audiobooks on the planet. Head over to audible.com slash domix, link below, or text the code DOMIX to 500-500 for a 30-day trial and a free audiobook. And right now, Amazon Prime members can sign up and get the first three months of Audible for only the price of one. But hurry, because this offer ends on July 31st. Audible members get a credit every month, which they can spend on any audiobook, regardless of the price. Audiobooks are a great sidekick for summer activities like hiking, sunbathing, and road tripping, allowing you to binge on content you love while doing the things you love. Feel free to pick out any audiobook you'd like with my code, and that book is yours to keep. I had a lot of fun being able to speak with Phil DeFranco, Ben and John of the Super Carlin Bros, and Brianna about Florida, an audiobook we chose to listen to and discuss on an old-fashioned book club. If you haven't already, you can check out how that went on the Philly D channel. I'm sorry, I was really awkward and nervous, but I had a blast. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Once again, that's audible.com slash domics or text domics to 500-500 for a 30-day trial and a free audiobook. Enjoy!